I am a just fire kids of Philo Kribo Senior High School, presenting my course on Digital Inclusion, Promotion and Protection of Child's Rights Online. Digital inclusion is the capability of an individual or group to enjoy the benefits of being online and use technology confidently to improve their day-to-day -day lives. The United Nations has identified the internet as a basic human right that needs to be extended to all citizens of the world. It is unavoidable and beneficial to our daily lives. An example is a quick Uber or boat ride across town. A healthy dinner prepared using a recipe you found online. An email exchange from an old friend makes people stay in touch with each other. These little interactions make so much difference in how we function in today's society. Learning and sales done online brings people earnings depending on how skillful they are with the use of information and communication technologies. Talking of shopping, much money is not spent unlike moving to the trading areas to purchase whichever items you want. The product is brought to your doorstep as soon as the order has been placed. A child can purchase school books and other learning materials online. To talk of time being saved, one can still have other tasks being done while online. It is estimated that approximately 20% of our online population are under the age of 18 years, meaning only few internet users today are children. We suggest that more is needed to be done to achieve total digital inclusion. Children who are online today are viewed as the lucky ones and are those whose parents or guardians can afford devices and data that allow them to continue schooling at a time when COVID-19 has closed many schools. The rights of every child must be respected, protected and fulfilled in the digital environment. The child's views must be respected and their opinions must be listened to as a principle of children's rights. Children must be encouraged to explore the internet to build their intellectual and social capabilities. Children have little or no power to control their lives, hence efforts to acquire digital knowledge must be promoted and protected. To conclude, risks and opportunities associated with children's engagement in the digital environment must be carefully looked at. Thank you.